I'm a little ticked off. And this is going to go out to a lot of people that all they do is they bother you whenever they do something wrong and get caught or somebody just continuously gets on their nerves. They bother you. And then you're dragged into their nonsense. For what? What's the reason? Let me put some light on this subject. My problem, yeah, I'm blinking. My problem with a lot of people is like this. See, right now, today, there's no stressed out phone call. There's no, oh, could you tell this person that I'm not lying? You know my situation. I don't know nothing about nobody's situation because I don't, I'm not there. I don't know what you do with that person. What you promised that person. What you told that person you're going to do to stay with them or be with them on a part-time basis. What promises you fail to keep? <coughs> and then once someone like me says what we say or give out some sort of opinion, we get attacked by everybody that's so-called, how do you do that? Who gives you the authority? You know what my problem is? When you have a problem with a person that you are in bed with. Don't call me. I don't want to hear it. Because right now, y'all don't have no problem. Y'all don't have no problem. Because I'm not being called. But rest you me, assure you me, as soon as you have a problem, you will be calling or texting me. Why? Number one, that's not my situation. Number two, you sleep with that person, not me. I cannot verify anything you say is the truth because I am not in your face. I am not there when you do whatever you do with that person. Whatever you do behind that person's back. On the phone with somebody else. Setting up something else with someone else. Lying to cover your back. And you're only using me as an escape goat. That's wrong. Now. This is 2022. This goes out to my cousin. I love you to death. But. Whenever you and whoever you're sleeping with, you have problems, don't call me no more. You're not having a problem now. Don't call me. You can call me and say, hi, how you doing? I made a new mix or whatever, whatever, whatever. But don't call me. And I'm sorry to say that. My my little my little knee my little little cousin or whatever right. Listen, sweetheart, I love you to death, right? But don't question anything I post. You are a child, and you need to stay in a child's place. And I'm going to get on your father's case because you are underage. You're not. 
20 years old, you're not old enough to vote, so you do not have the authority to say, I use your father because I want YouTube likes. I'm a little pissed off. So I'm getting on your father's case to tell him he needs to get you off of social media because you're too young to be on social media and trying to make these crazy opinions to grown-ups that actually care about you. I care about you. But I am not taking no sass from no child. Whatever me and your father talk about and deal with, that's between us. At the end of the day, you are a child and you need to stay in the child's place. And whoever is using your account to come at me, they should be ashamed of themselves. And I feel that as your cousin's, your father's older cousin that he looks to, up to for advice I feel at this point in time you do not need to be on social media you don't need to be on TikTok you don't need to have a Facebook account you don't need to have an Instagram account if you're not in high school you do not need to be on social media you are a child Stay in a child's place. And that's the problem that we have with this particular generation. That the parent is not being a parent to the child. Because nobody's child is supposed to be up on social media worried about what somebody posts about their parent. If they did not say, hey dad, hey dad, um, did you and your cousin speak about doing something like this? And you're supposed to be the big, you're supposed to be the parent to say, listen, baby, me and Big Cuz did this. Stay in your place. He's a grown man. I gave him permission to do that. These kids need to be put in their place. They don't need to be in social media up in grown folks' business talking to grown folks. I'm sorry, but I got to put this out here. So... It, yeah, I got a granddaughter. She nine years old. She ain't all up on social media commenting and talking with grown folks and all that stuff. The only time she talks to her grandfather is when she is with my son or her mother. And they control her social media activity. So any young lady or young man that's on social media... And you're not in high school, you don't need to be on there because it's rude, disrespectful, and there's <laughs> perverts and cougars out there. Fathers, if you got a daughter that's under the age of 17 and she's on social media, you need to check her account and find out who she's talking to. And if she's under 15 years old, your dad, you need to not have her on social media. It's very dangerous. It's dangerous people on social media. That's what I'm putting out. This is Smooth One Production. And I'm also going to say, I don't care who you are. Don't put no booty shaking videos on my Facebook. Because I will unfriend you. Uh, if you put a booty shaking video on my Instagram, I think I'll just ignore it or I'll try to get rid of it. If you put a booty shaking video on my TikTok, I might just, I'll unlike it or put uninterested and I might unfriend you. So... This is for say what I am not dealing with on social media. If you ask me anything about Cash App, I'm unfriending you. If you ask me anything about 
paying for likes and paying for views, I'm unfriending you. If you ask me anything about Bitcoin and Forex trading, I'm unfriending you. If you say, oh, my company is giving out $700 to $2,000, I'm unfriending you. If you ask me to send you a picture to promote on your site or anything like that, I'm unfriending you. If you say, oh, could you send me a picture? I want to do a comic book cartoon drawing and then you want to charge me 75 to 80 dollars i'm unfriending you i do not pay for nobody to promote me whatever i post i post whoever likes it likes it whoever don't like it don't like it i don't get paid for this this is just something i do when i feel like doing it I don't care what anybody thinks. If you're on Facebook and you're looking for a man, I'm not the man you're looking for. If you're looking for someone to have phone sex or whatever with, I'm not that man. I don't want to date nobody. I don't want to hang out with nobody. I have a slight interest in photography and videography and that's it. But that's nothing to me. I don't want to be your man. I don't want to be your lover. I'm not Captain Save a Hole. I'm not Captain Put a Broke Bitch Back Together. I'm nobody's marriage counselor. I'm nobody's relationship counselor. I'm nobody's stress counselor. If you have a problem with a person, don't call me because I don't have no answers for you and I don't want to be caught up in between the he say and she say bullshit that always goes along when you drag a third person into your personal business. Stop dragging people into your business. This goes out to everybody. Stop dragging people into your business. If you have a problem with someone that you're sleeping with or whatever, talk to them. Don't talk to nobody else because the third party is not in the situation. Y'all need to stop doing that. Stop dragging people in your messy love life. Want to be on or I love this person. I don't love that person. I'm not cheating on this person. Yes, I'm cheating on this person. I'm not lying to that person. Yes, I'm lying to that person. Oh, I need you to corroborate my story so I can get my foot back in the door. Because I ain't got nobody else to love me. The fuck out of here with that bullshit.